So, Steel Fest 2018, and we have some cool guys here. I tried to say Fortress, and it's gonna fail. So, let's welcome these Quebecs here. Five guys doing awesome music, awesome black metal. So, well, let's welcome them and let, they say, let them say how it's said. Yeah, it's, it's Fortress. And your name is? Hi, my name is uh, Fiel. I joined the band in, uh, band in the 2009. I'm the drummer and I also help with the production, the sound and some keyboard and vocals. Thank you. And you are Mr? Atras, lead vocals, Fortress. Thank you. And? I'm Manark. I play bass guitar. Thank you. And this, uh, sir? I'm Moribon. I'm the uh, main composer. Uh, that's it. And this bearded fellow? <laughs> I'm Matrak and I play lead guitar. How is your music? What, what it is? Tell it to the audience who don't know jack shit about your band. Well, uh, obviously it's uh, Metal Noir Québécois, as we call it in uh, Quebec. It's black metal, but uh, with a uh, Québécois twist. Uh, we uh, try to focus our lyrics on um, tales of uh, of our of our homeland and uh, independence of Quebec, our language, our culture, our heritage, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's uh, epic black metal. So, for example, in Metal Archive side, you yep. see there's a kind of a nationalist or nationalism related band. Yep. But what does it mean in uh, case of Quebec? Yeah, well, it's um, it's mostly about independence. You know, uh, Quebec wants to separate from the rest of Canada. Uh, we have a long history of uh, whether it be a political or uh, military uh, struggles to get our province separated from Canada. So this is wh where this nationalism com comes from. We have a different language than the rest of Canada. We have a uh, different culture, we have different hist history, and uh, this is pretty much where it stems from. So do you have anything at all in common with the, you know, uh, the, the term of Canadian black metal, or are there two separate things? Well, to me, they are separate. In, in which way? Well, uh, you know, People consider Quebec black metal to be more, more melodic often, and um, I think I think if you refer to Canadian black metal as bands uh, like the uh, Ross Bay area bands or some or, or bands similar, uh, obviously we uh, are quite different. Very, very different. Quite different, yeah. And uh, I think most bands from the, the Quebec area, uh, without knowing it, are more influenced by uh, bands from. Uh, northern er or areas or of Europe or Eastern Europe. You have been also very, very active band. I just today got to, had to refresh my mind and you have a huge lo you know, load of releases already by now. Basically one release per every year except from some exceptions but then again you have also kind of like two releases per w one year. What is the story behind this hyper activity? Who wants to go? Well, you know, uh, there was a time when we would uh, produce a lot more materials, but now uh, the guys they all have uh, other projects, so it's it's kind of slowed down. But we're not uh, we're not in any rush to uh, produce anything. So uh, really, when we when we get to work on Fortress, it's because we feel we uh, we have something to add and we have something to record, and uh, it. Uh, it, it needs forced? to be no no it needs to be uh, it needs to be felt and it needs to be uh, natural. so natural so uh, you know uh, we already uh, we've already recorded uh, new songs well, well we've started uh, sorry writing new songs uh, but uh, we've not yet begun uh, rehearsing them or uh, recording them so it's going to take uh, again probably uh, uh, maybe a, a year or two before anything new uh, comes up comes out all right, let's talk about lyrics. Who is the main guy for lyrics? Well, we all are. We all, we all write uh, lyrics for the band. So how does it go when there are like five guys, you know, writing lyrics and you probably have your own emotions and feelings and uh, whatnot? How do you keep it together and kind of are consistent? Well, you know, uh, I think uh, I think black metal is always a, has always been a quest for uh, authenticity, you know, and. Uh, and uh, there's nothing uh, we write in Fortress that, that we do not believe. So uh, everybody feels pretty much the same thing about uh, our history and our and, uh, and, and whatnot. So uh, everybody writes, even though the styles are different, they all reflect the same uh, idea. So you mentioned believing or belief. What do you believe in? 
independence. Yep. Freedom. Independence, what does it mean to you? Uh, it means um, cherish your, uh, who you are, uh, where you come from, uh, view uh, where you want to go, and uh, make sure that... Uh, it's a cultural thing, but it's also an economic thing. So it's, uh, it's both, uh, both sides. So let's th th talk about a little bit about other sorts of beliefs, that is religions. Religious has been always a kind of a hot potato for uh, many black metal bands and for a reason. But what's your take on religions? Do they matter in your music or are they just like, poof, go away and die? Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't address them very much. It's, uh, maybe there are other members who have uh, uh, delved deeper into this with their own projects and who couldn't answer better. Uh, you seem like you are going to talk about it. <laughs> well, uh, in Fortress it's not a team that we are uh, exploring, uh, but in, uh, in, in Quebec culture in general we have always been very, uh, we had a special relationship with Christianity. There's a church on almost every street corner in uh, all small suburbs. There's there's church everywhere. Uh, now they're emptied, most of them today, because people care less about that. But in the past, there was always like, a, how can I say, a, sort of a, a, a strong presence of uh, not slavery, but uh, people felt that, that they, uh, they had to uh, give a part of them to the church so that they could uh, feel uh, like they're doing the right thing, you know, but that was just so some kind of oppression, which it doesn't exist anymore. But in our history, it has been present and it, uh, that's why some, some projects in black metal will uh, keep those classic themes like anti-Christianity and stuff like that. But in fact, the rest, it's something else. It's more about cherishing culture and uh, seeing, uh, having, dreaming some ideals that we want for, uh, for Quebec. All right. Before we conclude, let's talk a little bit about lyrics in that sense that you say about these national ideas and independence and all that stuff, but how about the rest of the world? If we who are not from Quebec, what can we uh, take out of your lyrics and feel you know, for ourselves? What kind of meaning they should be giving to us people who don't know shit about Quebec? Yeah, well, I think uh, the, the good thing about the, the lyrics we, we write with Fort Fortress is that they can probably apply to many situations and uh, even even uh, within the history of Quebec you cannot pinpoint uh, uh, it, this isn't a history lesson you know so there isn't a, there isn't a, a song about a specific moment in time I think m many songs can be applied to many moments in history and I think it, they could they could probably apply to other uh, cultures, cultures well. and uh, countries who also uh, who, who also uh, yeah, yeah, problematics yeah, the same type of uh, situation or, or struggles. So, if you would name one most important person in Quebec history related to your independence and uh, our ideas of independence and whatnot, who would that be? Um, Anyone? Can yeah, there are Chevalier there are many. Uh, but Anyone? I guess yeah, it's, it's probably uh, Chevalier de la Remie. So we should just Wikipedia him and <laughs> uh, he, he was uh, the leader of. Um, N uh, national party, so I think he's the most important uh, character of Quebec history. All right, so the last thing before the last thing is always like, <laughs> so what are what is the plan? What are the plans ahead of you now that you will conquer Finland, wave some flags and go on the road again or in the studio or whatever? What will happen next? Uh, yeah, um, we aren't. Uh, We'll see, I guess. We aren't uh, l craving this uh, this rock star lifestyle where we're all where we are always on. You know, groupies all the time and drugs and stuff. So we're just uh, we're just guys playing music we believe in, and uh, we'll see where that takes us. So uh, when when opportunities like today uh, knock, we seize them, and uh, we'll see what's next. Thank you very much, guys. One last question will be to the person who spoke the least. So, any words, words of wisdom to the audience? Anything from philosophy to religion to drinking booze away that you don't get hangover. What would be your ultimate tip to life be? That's an easy question, right? Yeah. Have a good time and listening some good music. That's about it. That's about it. That's about it. That's some good words because 
You don't have to think too complicated to achieve something in life. Just rock and roll and keep it true. As always, don't be a douchebag. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Rauda out. <laughs>